Hello there everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to talk about the three witchcraft practices that have really helped to lower my anxiety, plus some of my favorite herbs for anxiety. I am someone who has struggled with anxiety most of my life. At this point, yeah, definitely most of my life. But through the years with my practice, I've honestly felt the most in control of that. And because of how beneficial witchcraft has been for my anxiety, I wanted to sit down and share with you the practices that I believe have helped me the most. So hopefully if you're someone who also struggles with anxiety, this can be really helpful for you going forward. and maybe even can help you in the same way that it has helped me. But before we go any further, this video is sponsored. So let's hear a little bit more about that. Today, I'm so happy to once again be partnering with my favorite mindfulness and sleep app, Aura. I'm someone who can struggle quite a bit with quieting anxious thoughts and in turn falling asleep at night. But with the help of Aura and especially their soundscapes, my sleep has been much improved and I'm able to quiet my mind almost instantly while using the app. As you probably know by now, Aura is a new mindfulness and sleep app that won the best of Apple Award and is used by over 7 million people. It's an all-in-one app for wellness and sleep. It has thousands of meditations and stories, along with CBT, life coaching, breathwork, spirituality, and more. Its content is created by hundreds of expert coaches and therapists around the world. And as I've said before, it has been a huge aid to me when it comes to my sleep and anxiety. I deeply appreciate how much variety and personalization there is available within the app and with the hundreds of coaches therapists and storytellers there are endless tracks to choose from and love personally i favor the soundscapes in particular any involving rain or birds and best of all you won't have to worry about waking up in the middle of the night due to an ad or an abrupt transition everything is carefully curated to guarantee smooth transitions from tracks to background sounds to silence all to make sure to never interrupt your sleep all in all i've never found an app quite like this one and much less one that has worked so well when it comes to helping with quieting my mind. So if this sounds interesting to you, get started for completely free on Aura's website using my special link in the description. The first 500 people to use my link get a free trial plus an exclusive 25% off. It's going to go fast, so you might as well sign up now while you're thinking about it. Thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into it. Alrighty, welcome back. Let's dive in, shall we? So the first practice is pretty straightforward and probably something you would expect, but meditation. Meditation is a very core aspect of my practice. It is something that I try to focus on daily or at least a couple times a week if I can't fit it in. But having this built-in time to focus on clearing my mind, breathing slowly, and really finding and creating peace has been a very helpful practice in building up my ability to get back to a baseline of calm when I'm experiencing anxiety. I use it as a tool to get away from anxiety when it's causing a problem, even outside of just my regular practice of it. But having it as a regular practice really does just help my body start the day at a base sense of peace. I have quite a few practices in my book on connecting to intent and intuition, and those tend to be some of the most effective ways that I've found to find calm. But having this regular practice to return to and, well, practice really has helped me immensely and I think is one of the more effective, if not the most effective, aspects of my practice and craft that has helped me to decrease my own anxiety. The next thing that has helped me quite a bit is nature walks. But not just regular nature walks, very mindful and intention-filled nature walks. Of course, getting out in nature is something that is noted time and time again as an aid to mental health, but I have found that going out in nature with goals to connect and be slow and kind of communicate with the trees and the nature or take note of what is growing, it's always changing. I, especially now, it's spring here. I love to see the new starts of the plants 
all of the early flowers and currently the nettles are just starting and these little blooms here and there. Taking just a moment to get outside and look around to see what is starting, what is changing. Those moments of noticing and being still with the earth is such a valuable way of finding calm and bringing peace. It again, in the same way as meditation, helps me to get to a baseline, and there's just something naturally soothing about nature. I suppose it makes sense, as we are of nature. And as my practice, and I'm sure a lot of you if you follow me here, are very attuned to the outdoors, spending time in it can really help to bring that sense of peace. So. I go on daily walks to observe nature, and I know that I'm fortunate in being able to do that, but even just spending a moment looking outside your window, if that's all you can do, can help immensely. It's just taking the time to notice and be still. And building that community with nature really, really has helped me so, so much. So if I'm having a moment where I'm overwhelmed, going for a walk and connecting to the nature that I know has always helped me. Or just keeping it in regular rhythm in my life is also a good way to sustain and practice. And finally, the third practice that has helped me immensely is, well, crafting anti-anxiety spells. I usually use these in moments where I am overwhelmed or as maintenance. Spell work is very wonderful for anxiety because it has built in breathing and being slow and taking notes. It's meant for you to focus on something outside of yourself and be one with it. You slow down and you have to just be. Anti-anxiety spell work can take form in many different preparations. You can make teas, bath teas, candles, incense, simmer pots, I really have enjoyed making salves and tinctures and also syrups if you prefer something a little bit sweeter. My main go-to tends to be tea. I usually have a blend of anti-anxiety herbs made that I just craft into a tea, sit with it, breathe in that anti-anxiety goodness, and sip on it slowly. Of course, working the intent of calm and anti-anxiety the whole time. But practicing these spells, especially if you're in a moment of kind of heightened anxiety, maybe a panic attack, and kind of going through these motions, sitting with it, practicing breathing, practicing intent with them can be a really helpful way to get you out of those moments. And again, it's practice. It kind of builds up that tolerance and creates more calm. So those are the three practices that have helped me the most. Now, I do want to share with you five of my favorite anti-anxiety herbs in the magical sense and in the medicinal sense. And these five are chamomile, lavender, lemon balm, meadowsweet, and rose. Chamomile and lavender tend to be my very first go-tos. I find them to be very effective. And lavender is perhaps the most effective a lot of the time, but I find chamomile to be a little closer to my heart, so kinda can depend. But a cup of lavender tea, while it may taste a little bit like grass, is the most soothing thing that I have ever drank in my life. These herbs can be used in any form of spell work that you like, and especially any of the ones that I mentioned previously. I do have base recipes for most of these spell styles out on my channel. You can find them in a playlist. And if there are any that I don't yet have out as a base spell recipe for you to follow, I will be sharing soon. But all in all, witchcraft being the mindful practice that it is, has been something that is deeply beneficial for my anxiety and just my whole life. It has helped me immensely and I hope that it does the same for you. And I hope these tips and practices can help you if you are struggling. Of course, this isn't the only way to manage anxiety and you should seek out other methods of managing it if you need to, but I kind of feel like it's useful to come at it from as many different angles as possible. 
So with that, I hope you've enjoyed. If you can and would like to, I'd really appreciate it if you checked out my Patreon. There I share art, herbal profiles, book recommendations, and monthly workshops. It's really what keeps things running over here, so really appreciate those of you that are over there. I also have another channel where I share more vlogs in my day-to-day -day life, more magic, herbalism, all of those good things, and I also wrote a book. So if you're interested in any of these things, they will all be linked in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day and I hope you found a bit of peace. And I can't wait to see you again soon.